This lesson series assumes that you're already familiar with Python, so we will not be going into a lot of detail about modules. So we will start with a review of how modules typically work in Python and then see how they behave differently in CircuitPython. Modules are basically reusable code. It's not practical to include all the possible code that everyone would want to use in the basic Python installation. So we have the capacity of adding additional code capabilities through using modules. Sometimes the word library is used. It basically means the same thing as module. We make the code of a module available to our script by using an import statement. The modules that we're importing may be included in the standard library. If that's the case, then there's not really anything else we need to do. Just load it with the import statement. But some less commonly used modules are not included in the standard library, and we have to install them in order to be able to import them. When you're using standard CPython, the typical way that you install a module is by using the pip installer application. So if you've used Python, you're probably familiar with a command like pip install and then the name of the module, or perhaps pip3 install if you're using a Mac. Things are a little bit different in CircuitPython. In CircuitPython, we don't have an installer program to make the code become a part of the board's library of code. Instead, we have to install them manually by simply copying them onto the board. In order to do this, we have to first go to a website and get the CircuitPython library bundle, which has the most updated library files for the microcontroller boards that are offered by Adafruit Industries. So the files that are necessary to run all of the particular sensors are available there in their most updated versions. The files that are in this library bundle have the extension .mpy, and in a few cases, there may be several modules that are grouped together in a folder. In order to install them, we copy them manually from the lib directory in the library bundle to the lib directory on the board. You can then take the modules that you have installed in this way and use the import command to make them available to your code in a script. There are a lot of different modules in the CircuitPython library bundle, and every time you use a new sensor, you will probably need to install the module for that sensor because it has the particular code that's necessary in order to make that sensor work. For example, to identify it using its I squared C identification number. Here is an example of some code for the VCNL4040 proximity sensor. Two of the import statements import code from the standard library module. Many of the scripts that are written in CircuitPython use these two modules, so they're included when you install CircuitPython itself. However, the specific code for the VCNL4040 has to be copied from the library bundle. And here we see what its MPY file looks like in the lib folder of the library bundle. Once it's copied over into the board, it is then available to import using a statement like this. I want to mention, before I leave the subject of modules, a term that you hear mentioned sometimes in the documentation online, and that is Blinka. Blinka is a large library that includes all of the modules that you're likely to use for sensors. Obviously, it's not practical to install all of those on a tiny board, but for a single board computer like a Raspberry Pi, which has a large amount of storage capacity, or if you want to run sensors directly from a laptop, the Blinka library allows you to communicate with the sensors from either the laptop or a single board computer. It can be installed using pip like any other kind of typical C Python library. And so you can use it with 
a regular C Python distribution on Linux, such as in a Raspberry Pi, or also on Mac and Windows. The modules that are included in Blinka correspond pretty much to the modules that you would install manually to a microcontroller board from the CircuitPython library bundle. If you want to use Blinka, you just install them in the normal way using PIP.